Maca's guides. That was legitness. Yeah, it was. Huh? Hey guys, Maca here with completed episode number 62. Now excuse my voice, I literally just lost it due to a cold. In this episode, we're taking a look at an early contender for easiest game completion of 2016. That game is called Cubot, available now for only $2. The game officially released on the Xbox One on January 8th, 2016. I started it on that date and finished it on that date, completing it in a time span of exactly one hour. If you'd like to see a full game walkthrough of me streaming it on Twitch, I've uploaded that as an unlisted video and I'll link it down below. You guys are free to check it out, although it doesn't work very well as a guide. If you are looking to complete this game for yourself, it'll take you one hour with text solutions and probably somewhere around three hours if you don't use any guides. In total, the game has 10 achievements. The last one you see me getting on screen right now is called Auto Blocker Completed for completing the eight levels of the last episode. Basically, this game has 10 different episodes. Each episode is comprised of eight different levels, bringing the total amount of levels in the game to 80. The achievements are 10 of them. You get one for completing each world. Basically, if you just complete the game from beginning to end, you will get everything that you can possibly get, making this a breeze to complete. So what is Cubot? You might be wondering, just by basically looking at the screen, you might not be 100% sure. It's basically a game where you just manipulate cubes around a 2D surface. Sometimes you get into the third dimension with like ladders and stuff, but you're basically just manip manipulating cubes in order to solve puzzles on a screen. It's that simple. And if you have solutions, uh, it's even simpler. You literally just go left, right, left, right, up, down. Follow the solutions exactly and you'll get the solution to the puzzle. Even if you don't have solutions, you can do a majority of the levels without guides and that'll unlock a certain in-game currency for you. And then you can use that in-game currency to buy the solutions in the game and it'll actually show you how to solve the puzzles. For those reasons, this game is an easy 1 out of 10 on the achievement difficulty. It really doesn't get any easier than this other than like visual novels or telltale games. As for fun factor, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. At a price point of $2, you really can't go wrong even at that kind of a fun factor. And if you like puzzle games, this is definitely up your alley. However, if you don't like puzzle games, they frustrate you and you just simply don't enjoy yourself playing them, you're not going to have a good time. So as I always do, I've included some links in the description below. The first link, like I said, is to an unlisted video of me playing the entire game and completing it in under an hour. The second link is to a giveaway. Yeah, the game's only $2, but I actually ended up having an extra code that I don't need. If one of you want it, you're free to have it. Enter the giveaway in the description below. It's through a website called Gleam.io. If you are subscribed to this channel and like this video, you've already done both steps that are required to enter the competition. You just need to log in via that website. Additionally, if you're interested in purchasing Xbox Live currency, I've put an Amazon link down below for easy access. I've also included the True Achievements game page, which I highly suggest you take a look at, which is where I also personally found all the text guides that I used. And I've also put a link to the Xbox Achievements website as well, their subforum of this game. Again, all you'll need is kind of the directions to press to complete each level and you can figure it out for yourself. Before we end off, a quick shout out to Heron Giggles as well as all of these awesome people on Patreon for supporting the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe and hopefully I see you next time. Peace.